Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a special message for you. You're being guided towards a brighter future. So maybe you've come across this video because of the number 444, which is an important sign when it comes to guidance, when it comes to evolution and growth in spiritual awareness. So spiritual awareness is something that um, reminds us of unity between mind and body and soul so when we unite mind body and soul we become aware of the spirit that is uniting the energies and it is reminding us that everything is sacred everything is sacred your mind is sacred your body is sacred your soul is sacred and they are one it's oneness and a person who starts becoming more aware of that oneness of that unity is able to express it in his or her daily life. And that's where people start producing beautiful art, people start expressing their truth, people start connecting people together, expressing more honesty, more kindness, more love in the world. And there are many signs that we can recognize that that's what's happening to us. Because sometimes we don't really know where we are on that path of evolution. We start working on ourselves, we become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, maybe traumas that are holding us back. And sometimes we can't fully identify. Are we growing? Is everything working the way that is meant to work, you know, sometimes we just feel that there's a path written in the stars for us, but we're not fully aware of that path because we're kind of figuring it out. So most probably right now you're breaking free from your comfort zone and doing things you previously thought that were impossible. So when you start doing that, are you doing that? Let me know in the comments below if that's you. So I think there's nothing that can stop you from obtaining your dreams. It's your destiny, my friends. And when you take care of your positive mental attitude, everything you wish will be delivered at the right time. So my friends, by living and acting as the person you want to be, everything you put your mind to will manifest. And we need to remind ourselves that often discomfort and fear are just signs of growth. You know, if you're constantly staying in the comfort, you will not experience much fear, much of doubts, much of anxiousness. And often people like to stay there. And that's why they are not growing. So if you're experiencing recently a lot of anxiousness, a lot of discomfort, many fears, it's a sign of growth. And those emotions will slowly help you to gain the strength, to find the inner strength so we can move through them. Those emotions are present within us because of our biological evolution. In the past, we needed them because often people were in danger because of certain animals, because of their environment. But as we are now living in a safe world, which is much safer than it was in the past, we need to learn to overcome those emotions. And overcoming and overcoming and overcoming of what we feel as discomfort is building the strength within that helps us and allow us to follow our dreams and follow that path that is written in the stars for you. So, you know, feeling down is often an indication that something within you is sit seeking to be released. So you just need to pay attention, like why you're feeling down right now, why you're feeling down, what is bothering you. Because in the past we've been taught that we, we just need to suppress that, right? But I'm reminding you, pay attention to it. It's an indication that something within you is seeking to be released. When there's anger present, it's a stored tension in the muscles of your body and you need to release it. If you recognize that you're easily being triggered, it just means that there's a lot of tension stored in your muscles of the body, in the tissues of your body. And it's time for you to free yourself from that. 
That's why you need to create certain routines and rituals in your life that will help you to free yourself from that. Like, um, find workouts that will help you. If you like to dance, dance more often. Play some beautiful music and dance. Shake it off like animals are doing. Have you seen animals in fights? What they do after a fight? They just shake off. And that's how they shake off the stored energy. That's what will work. So my friends, if you know exactly what you want in life, it's a truly beautiful sign of evolution. And every time you experience that sense of being guided, of being supported, you will experience also a sense of what you want. And I want to remind you today that having clarity over what we want is something that, that is really important because often people just don't know what they want in their lives. And we are living in an interesting world right now. Artificial intelligence is rising, right? And many people are being afraid of that. And because many people are being afraid of that, they close themselves down. So we are meant to be creative. We are meant to co-create a beautiful lives for ourselves and for people around us. And when we are scared because of evolution of our environment and everything we are creating and everything that's happening, it's hard for you to use what you have for creation of something that you want to see. And I want to remind you to just pause yourself, slow down. Everything feels like time is moving faster. And we need to train ourselves to slow down so we can recognize where our heart is calling us. So we can then gain greater clarity around it, right? You are the creator, my friend. And that's something that you need to remind yourself for. Know what you want. If you don't know what you want, this is the time to ask yourself. Yesterday I was talking a lot about this, 12-12, right, special day, but every day is special. Every day you need to have clarity over what you want to do in your life. And the times when you don't have it, it's the time of reflection, it's the time of deep introspection. That's what your spirit guide wants you to know. So never ignore that. When you have a lack of clarity, it's a sign that you need to get back to yourself right? And I want to actually give you here a few signs that may indicate to you or show to you or prove to you that you are evolving. So when you know what you want, it's a truly powerful sign that you're evolving and you shouldn't ignore that. Because, you know, once we start writing down our dreams and goals, we start downloading or we open ourselves for guidance, for downloads of inspiration, motivation, and powerful insights that will lead us to where we need to be. And I'm talking from my personal experiences because that's what, what happened to me when I had no idea I will be ever doing what I'm doing today. I was not thinking about it, I was not visualizing it, I was not trying to manifest it. But you know, as the universe guides us in mysterious ways, if we pay attention to the guidance, we'll always be exactly where we need to be and we will know that we are where we need to be. So there's actually a sign that um, I should mention here that you feel like you are where you're supposed to be. That's a sign of growth, of evolution of the soul, evolution of your awareness, that you just feel like you are where you're supposed to be. Do you feel like that? Because sometimes we think that things are happening to us when actually things are happening for us. And we've heard it before. But truly, it just means that wherever you are, there's something that you're maybe missing right now. Like you're focusing on what you want when on the other side you should focus on what you have. To see a greater meaning in that thing. To see a greater potential in what you already have right? Because somebody right now is dreaming to live a life that you're living right now, to have the things that you have right now. 
And that's something that I always remind myself, especially when I'm feeling down, especially when I feel lack of motivation or I feel like um, nothing has any meaning. Sometimes we feel like that, right? And those are the days that I remind myself back in the past, I was dreaming about having what I have right now. I was dreaming about the freedom that I have right now. And, you know, when we need a moment of um, clarity and being grounded, that's what helps me. And I hope it can help you as well. Also, another sign that you are evolving is that you believe you are co-creator of the outcomes in your life. And maybe you don't fully believe into this idea yet, because maybe there are still many things you would rather not have or you would rather not experience. But you're a co-creator of the outcomes in life. And the thing is, lack of clarity will lead us to more of manifestations we don't want to see. And those manifestations, those events, those experiences are just teaching us to, to declutter our minds more often, to pay more attention to what you truly want to think about, what you truly want to believe in, what are your core values? Are your actions aligned with your core values? You know, every time we find that our life is happening the way we don't like it to be, it's a sign, it's a reflection of your mind, like something is missing there. You need to declutter it a little bit. You need to pay more attention to what's happening within you. So take some time to go into you to go into your world and see what's going on and that's the winter season right winter season is the season of slowing down season of recognizing what's happening within how are we doing you know we don't need to rush all the time we don't need to to do the things all the time working hard all the time we also need to learn to slow down if you observe the nature you will see nature is sleeping right now so pay more attention that you are sleeping well, that you are resting well and feel good about it. Accept the cycles of nature because that's what will help you to gain greater clarity. It will help you to align your life with the path of your soul. It will help you to, to experience more flow in your life. And even if you think that you don't have time for that, make time for that you will find a way if you don't know how set some intentions make a prayer and start living your life more intentionally if you're living your life more intentionally already it's a sign of evolution my friends and you're being supported and guided to where you are right now so feel that support feel that guidance look into your heart and Express gratitude for everything that already took place, everything that already happened, and all the events that brought you to where, to where you are right now. Let's take a moment and just appreciate that. Say thanks to yourself. Say thanks to the cells of your body for providing you the life, for providing you health for this vehicle of the soul, so everything can be experienced in that great sacred way. Another truly beautiful sign to me of evolution is that we'll start to live more simply, right? Simplicity. And that's something truly, truly beautiful because if we look at the society and all the advertisement and everything, everything seems like we need to have more to be happier, right? We need to consume more, we need to have more of this, more of that, more of everything, and then we'll be happy, then everything will be perfect. But the truth is that, again, if we look at nature, it's all about simplicity. You don't need much to, to experience wonder. Actually, less you have, more wonder you will experience. Less distractions, more you will be focused. Less poison for your mind, more aware you will be. And if you've recognized that your life is just becoming more and more simple, 
It's a sign of evolution. You're recognizing that you truly don't need much. What you need is to have some great time, right? And, and to be creative with that. To be creative with the time that you have. So we can invest it the way that will be the most beneficial for you and for people around you. And that's something truly beautiful. So if you are already aware of that, it's a sign of evolution. Sometimes we think that it's just uh, our nature, but actually it's a sign of evolution. Because if we look around us, so many people are still walking blindly through life. And you're becoming aware that simplicity is power. And that's truly, uh, truly incredible. Truly incredible. So pay attention to that. Another sign of evolution is that you've noticed that you've started attracting the right people into your life. And that's how we notice, you know, that um, our energy is changing. That magnetical force is changing its signal. And we started attracting more kind, more honest, more passionate people maybe, or more calm people. Like you go to take care of some official papers or something and you've noticed that the person that was serving you was just more kind than from previous experiences or more pleasant to talk with or you go into a grocery store and you meet a random stranger that was really positive really kind or said something nice to you or or gave you a warm smile, something that maybe never happened before or that usually don't happen and you've noticed that more of those things are happening to you. That's how the universe is reflecting back to you the changes you're experiencing and making within yourself. So I wanted today to remind you of those changes as we are slowly ending this year. So we remind ourselves that actually everything we've been through helped us to evolve, helped us to change in the positive way and helped us to become more aware of our authentic imprint, our authentic fingerprint we have here in this uh, third dimensional realm. And this manifestation that starts uh, taking place when we become more aware of ourselves that's truly beautiful to see because we notice, well, there is many kind people around there. there there's many positive people around there. And, and if that's happening for you, I'm so happy for that. Truly. So, my friends, if you've stopped comparing yourself with others or you're in the process that you're comparing less yourself with others, it's another sign of evolution. If you care more about people, but less about what they think, it's another sign of evolution. Never ignore that. It just means that your consciousness is expanding. If that's something natural, that you expect miracles to happen, it's a sign of evolution. And that's truly beautiful because, you know, Naturally, we start expecting miracles to happen and suddenly more and more synchronicities, miraculous synchronicities starts happening and suddenly it feels like everything is working in our favor. Well, if you're there or not, doesn't matter. But what matters the most is that you start paying more attention to that idea that if you start attracting, that you, if you start expecting miracles to happen, you will start attracting more miracles to happen, right? And doesn't matter where you are, who you are, how you are, that's something that you can shift in your mind. And every single day, start your day. There's an intention that I, I set every single morning when I finish my meditation. I set the intention like... Um, I'm open to receive a miracle today in an unexpected way. So it may surprise me. It may come to me the way that I will know it came from divine, that I will know it came from, from nowhere, from no time, from somewhere beyond this. And I will know that because it will awaken such a strong energy within me when I will experience it that I will know that 
it came from divine. And that's my intention. I say it every single day. And you know, there's so much to appreciate in every single day. When I finish my day, I ask myself what positively surprised me in case I've missed it. And you know, every single day I noticed, okay, that's where it was. And you know, it just um, helps us to to notice more of that creative power we have within. So my friends, you're being guided towards a brighter future and I want you to know that. Doesn't matter if you believe into it, if you don't believe into it, I know that you're on the path of greater awareness around it. And I hope um, that you're having a wonderful day, creative day, stay magnificent my friends. And I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting as well. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. I draw my passion. We are running some fresh new sales. So go, go there and check it out. Until next time, one love.